Hello friends of the interwebs. Update on my medical situation. A recent PET scan shows that I am still cancer free. I get these PET scans about every six months. It's always a little bit of a nerve wracking experience when I'm waiting to get the results in the doctor's office. Even if I don't have any symptoms, I'm still like just a little bit worried that the scan is going to somehow pick up cancer has returned. And I think this last time my blood pressure was 150. It's an improvement over 180 from the previous time. I'm about two and a half years past my cancer diagnosis and my doctor says after three years my odds of remaining cancer free really improve. So that will be November later this year. Got a little bit of disappointing news. Uh, apparently I'm still somewhat immune compromised. There's some parameter in my blood work that's still a little bit below the normal limit. Uh, so if you see someone out there wearing a mask, that's me. COVID's still out there. A uh, relative of mine got it. A couple months back, a good friend of mine got it just last week. This friend of mine is young and healthy, and COVID still knocked him out for a good week. So it's not something you want to mess with, particularly if you are immune compromised like myself. I went to a dentist recently after having not gone for some time. About a year and a half, I skipped the dentist because you have to take your mask off and there's somebody right there and COVID's still out there. I'm prone to cavities normally, about one cavity every two or three years. This time I had seven. One of them over here was particularly painful. Turns out chemo uh, does bad things to your teeth as well as bad things to cancer. So I'll take cavities over cancer any day, but in any event, I had to have fillings put in this side and two of them over here, and then there's going to be five on this side. Come to find out, I'm almost at the limit of my benefits for my dental plan. So I can only get two more cavities through this year, and I have to wait to do the rest of them, get fillings into next year. So I'm kind of playing a waiting game at this point. I don't have any pain now, but I'm waiting to see if any of the five remaining cavities on this side start to get painful. I'll take care of those by the end of the year and then the rest of them hopefully I can push off till next year. Next item I wanted to share with you, uh, here's a picture of Oscar Kitty in his final resting place along with Ginger and Zoe. Uh, it was a little bit of a run around to try to get the lettering and the style and everything on Oscar's urn to match with the other two, but that got done. And here is the final resting place of all three of these lovely kitties who were in the original Engineer's Guide to Cats video all those years ago. Having lost Oscar, uh, I kind of, I've kind of lost my muse. He was such a little spark of, of joy in my life and it just feels like my creative juices aren't quite flowing like they normally would be. I'm sure that'll come back at some point. I am working on a Star Wars with Cats special edition. It's going to be just about the same video that was released a couple of years ago, Star Wars with Cats, but I'm going to do a George Lucas on it and make some improvements to it. Improvements. And uh, that should be out. I think I'll get that out this month, probably. And one other item I'm trying to see, this is just kind of a crazy fantasy, I'm trying to see if I can get a major recording artist Dolly Parton, Willie Nelson, Nora Jones, somebody like that to record a song that I wrote and performed for Oscar last December. It's called Here for the Holidays. I'll leave a link in the uh, video description here. You can go check it out. My performance is not that great, but I think it's a, a sweet, charming little song. It's uh, It's got a lot of heart in it. It would be an amazing thing to have uh, some major artist record this song and I'd get you know, a couple thousand dollars of royalties, whatever the numbers are these days. Uh, I did send out uh, an email to representative uh, management for, I, I did for uh, Dolly Parton, Willie Nelson, Nora Jones, and Tom Waits. And I actually heard back from the uh, Willie Nelson folks. They said, we will pass this along to Mr. Nelson. They said, and they said, have a Willie great day at the end of the email. I thought that was very clever. Um, Otherwise, if you know of some in for one of these musical artists, uh, leave a little comment below. That's something I'm trying to do. It's a one in a million shot. It's 
almost embarrassing to talk about it here because it's probably not going to happen. But hey, that's all. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Thank you so much, all the supporters on Patreon and people who are making donations by way of PayPal. PayPal does not have a convenient way to message you. I so appreciate it. Um, extra money is going to go towards things like maybe having to fix my own cavities uh, out of pocket you know, because my ridiculous insurance is running out. So that's all. Thank you so much. Stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. I'll be with you days and nights. I'm with you. Never fear. We'll weather the winter and hope for the spring. And lucky another year. With luck another year.